Hey guys, welcome to the stream and welcome to Civilization VI, a game that has had its ups and downs and now we have come to the end of the included content of the Digital Deluxe Edition, the final and sixth DLC, which is the Khmer and Indonesian Southeast Asian Expansion. Well, DLC, not expansion. I don't know, the terms get all mixed up nowadays, just call it whatever you want. But... It, the D Digital Deluxe Edition was gonna have four DLC and then they realized it was a terrible deal and then they added two more. So we got two more DLC and now we've come to the end of the line. It's about the one year... Actually, what, what's the date today? I'm streaming this on the 23rd of October, two days after the one year mark of Civilization VI being out. And now that the D Digital Deluxe Edition has been completed, I expect they might be working on an expansion. Hopefully. We'll see. But anything beyond this point, everyone's gonna have to pay more money. And Tandis here asked, coffee or water today? It is coffee. If you see this mug, it's coffee. You don't put, you don't put water in a ceramic mug, it, it just tastes weird. You put water in a glass, coffee and other hot drinks in a ceramic mug. I don't know, I'm particular. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, what we're gonna do today to have a quick look at the new things is do the path to Nirvana scenario. And we are gonna play Indonesia, because if you don't know, I live in Malaysia and Indonesia is just next door. Uh, the other option is Khmer, Khm Khmer, Khmer, uh, which is somewhat further north. I have been there, it's a lovely place, but I wanna build some kampungs today. Kampungs being the Malay or somewhat Southeast Asian word for village, actually. Uh, Ma <laughs> NDJWJC as Mahalta Game Ni, which means, uh, is this game expensive? Or it could also mean, is this game, like, rich, high quality, depending on the, the intonation. Uh, we're gonna go Emperor, Indonesia, and Path to Nirvana. Can we, can we not? Where'd the description go? Oh well, I'm sure the description shows up when I press start game. Let's go ahead and start game! And I will narrate the description because Sean Bean isn't here. Indonesian Empire joins the world stage. May the blessings of heaven descend upon you, O ruler. Many religions are practiced in these lands and many creeds promise salvation. Will you spread your word into the hearts of the people or will these souls be swayed by other creeds? Leave the matters of states to the administrators and turn your compassionate heart to the task of enlightenment. So this whole DLC is about revamping religion, making religion better in every way. It also uh, adjusts some diplomacy screens and stuff, which I don't think we can see here, and also introduces Khmer and Indonesia. Very nice. Let's begin game because that music's getting very loud. And here we are in Southeast Asia. First of all, I love the music for the Indonesian civilization. It's very good. Uh, <laughs> and this is somewhat a section of a real Earth map, and by the way, in case you don't know, right here is Malaysia, this is also Malaysia here, that's Brunei right there. All of this down here is going to be Indonesia. Uh, and in case you don't know, uh, when you learn history, they tend to explain the, the Southeast Asian map in terms of shapes. So Peninsula Malaysia looks like a hand, right? It looks like it's the shape of your hand. If you actually want to draw Peninsula Malaysia, you take your left hand and then you outline it. And then you draw a circle on the end for Singapore. <laughs> Which is where Temasek is right now. Uh, if you want to draw uh, East Malaysia, which would be Sabah Sarawak, this is supposed to be the head of a dog. Um, with these tiles, you don't really see the head of a dog, but it looks better in, in, on an actual map. And just so you know, this cup right here, if you look at it, right here, it does actually say, it's reversed now, but just imagine you can read backwards. That says uh, Sarawak, which is this western side of East Malaysia, and I got this in the city of Kuching, which is just about here. Very nice city, very chill people over here. Uh, over here, this is supposed to look like an elephant, close enough Civ 6. <laughs> And there's uh, Philippines and Thailand and all of that stuff. And th this map actually extends over into India uh, and quite quite far up here into China as well. Uh, is this Japan? Yeah, I suppose it is. Uh, so that's the map here and the goals of this scenario will go here, no tech tree. Uh, 
we get scores here. Points are received for followers of religion, one point for every follower of this religion. Foreign cities, 20 points for all foreign cities following this religion, and one point for every faith per turn. Okay, so that's how we're gonna be winning this. We got 50 turns, we gotta dominate religion in this region. Looks good, looks good. We've got the city uh, Majapahit, Bogor, all of this is ours, and I think we basically can't do any economic or military stuff. This is a 100% religion scenario, right? Yeah. So I guess we're gonna focus on traders first, because traders are great for spreading religion as far as I understand. So we're gonna go ahead and grab a couple of traders, yeah? And I guess we will just... Build up some holy sites, right? We got uh, adjacency bonuses for coastal tiles because we are Indonesia. It seems like that tile has been prepped for us. We'll go ahead and get a shrine, yes. And we've also got Gorontalo here, where I guess we'll start... Should we get a harbor? Oh, culture bonus for harbors. Plus three there. I guess civics might be handy and the food and stuff will help the cities grow. Yeah. I'm not gonna play this optimally, I'm just gonna play this funnily. Uh, <laughs> so, we've got a civics tree, no tech tree. Now the religion update also includes a few th new religious units. There is the monk. May convert citizens to their religion and initiate theological combat. So, uh, missionaries can't fight. Uh, I think... Was it? Well, are they still called apostles? Apostles now can't spread, but mission monks can do both. And then we have the guru, which can heal itself in adjacent friendly religious units, may not initiate in theological combat with units of other religions, but can defend. So religious gurus are healers, which can back up monks and uh, other things. Starting out, though, I think I will just uh, unlock the temple. That's fine. One turn. Oh, okay. Uh, fill policy slot. What do we have here? Religious policies, uh, economic policies, diplomatic policies, no wildcard policies. So, uh, plus one faith from international trade routes. This is better. The first envoy, envoy is sent. Each city state counts as two. Okay. And plus one housing in all cities with at least two specialty districts. Production towards builders. We'll probably be getting builders to get those kampungs going. Kampungs unlock with the guild civic. So we're going to be working towards that. Unit needs orders. Okay, so uh, trading spreads religion. Now, let me bring up the new religion lens. The religion lens, very interesting. This is infinitely better than the old religion lens. <laughs> so it shows here how long it's going to convert. Uh, until it converts, and where it's getting influences from. So if there was fog of war, you could actually see like religious influence coming from a city that you can't see. So it's got some interesting stuff there. And we can see basically Shavaism, it's all shown there. So this city is getting uh, more influenced by them, so we're not going to be getting that. Uh, but this one converts in 53 turns, that's in 38, so we don't have to focus on, like, we don't have to go convert this, because in 15 turns, that city's ours anyway. We kind of want to focus on, like, Vijaya, which is converting to our religion, but very slowly. Uh, or Kadaram, which is going to be good as well, just to push our religion up this way. So if we go back to our trade, Vijaya or Kadaram might be good choices to go for. Are they listed here? They are listed here. So, uh, we would pick up some of their religion on the way back, but... Uh, I think we will convert them more than they'll convert us, because we're coming out of the heart of our city. So I guess we could focus on Vijaya, get a bit of extra faith here. Yeah, let's try focus on that. Begin route. And you can see, we converted it to Hindu Dharma immediately. That's actually pretty good. We just immediately converted it. So we can use sort of uh, trade routes to... So now Angkor Tom is being pressured one more by us over here. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, anyway, I'm not... Oh, right, we can purchase things with faith. Uh, 
you. Can we purchase things from Faith here? Uh, missionaries. May convert citizens to their religion, may not initiate into theological combat, can, but can defend priests. So priests are kind of replacing apostles, I think. May eliminate, or is it this replacing the Inquisitor? If we look at the religion thing, these are the four units now. Missionaries, priests, monks, and gurus. So there's no more Inquisitors as far as I can tell, and apostles have kind of become priests. And then they added the monk and the guru. So religion is is completely overhauled, right? Religion is is new, right? So I guess we want missionaries to start things off first, right? We'll just buy a missionary, yeah, next turn. All right, let's go. Turn one complete. We've established all the rules. We've had a look at what we're dealing with. Finally, the religion is nice. Yet to be determined. Uh, but I think we can confidently say religion is better than before. Um, do we want this policy? Plus one faith? No. But we do get the temples, so that's fine. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Mahabodhi Temple. Hmm. Unlock monks, which can are uh, like a combination of missionaries. Uh, but I think I want to beeline to guilds, get us an envoy. Oh, we get one there as well. I think I'll get guilds first, so I can get those kampungs going. And this missionary can go focus on converting or pushing our religion somewhat up this way. So I guess we send them straight up here, try and get Kadaram onto our side. Oh, Vijaya is reconverting to Buddhism. I see. Vijaya is being pressured. Uh, okay, so we gotta push things up. Maybe I could try tip this over if I send our missionary up that way. Yeah. He's got three spreads? Okay, let's keep going. Oh, he's got a promotion, does he? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that promotion. Ah. And now, because it's a 10 basic game, we can chill a little bit. Um, unit available for promotion, okay. I don't see the option to promote. Oh well. Just go spread. Yep, let's keep going. Okay. Ah, how's everything looking, by the way? Stream looks and sounds okay? Commercial hub, market building, okay. We're gonna get guilds next in four turns. What's the boost for this? Build three different specialty districts. How many districts do we have? Well, we already have three, but I guess we have to build three more? Right? Well, we'll just let that run. Uh, meanwhile, our missionary is gonna get to Kadaram here. Now we can promote, interestingly. No penalty movement when moving from sea or river. Fast movement in hills or terrains. Gain 75 strength this universe. I think I'd rather just spread. So, all right, we're looking at this on the religion lens here with this spread. The city will have one citizen following Hindu Dharma. The majority religion of the city will be Hin Oh, it actually tells you straight there. Oh, isn't that nice? Before it didn't tell you this information, it says it's going to convert, well, after spreading, what will the effect be? And so we can save like 50 turns here on converting Kadaram if I just spread this. Oh, it's nice knowing that information. Okay, cool. Um, so it seems like Theravada Buddhism is the dominant religion up here. So we got to be careful because it's getting a lot of pressure. Tamasic, surely you should be converting as well. Are you just getting influenced by like a lot of stuff? Come on. 
Or maybe the, the counter has disappeared because the situation has changed. Okay, so Kadaram is now following our uh, version of Hindu Dharma here. What's the actual objective? At turn 50, it will count who has the most religious stuff. We're currently not doing well. But we are on Emperor difficulty. I haven't played for a while and this I've never played this scenario before, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, we just finished the shrine here. I guess we boost up religion as soon as possible. So this is going to reconvert in 144 turns. That's converting in 20. That's converting back. So we've got to be careful of that. Um, perhaps I could... Is this city not going to convert? That's converting in 20. Is this actually getting... Yeah, if you follow the line, so Prechaburi is actually influencing Tamasek here. So if I try convert Prechaburi... Oh right, we do have a promotion. Uh, when moving from sea or river, walk on water. I guess that's good, right? We are a water peoples here. So we'll probably be spending a lot of time on the religion lens, as it's the whole point of this. Brunei is ours, right? Yeah, okay, so what's this? Commercial hub, harbor, district adjacency bonuses. Do I want that? It's probably good, right? Because we have harbors and we want to build a lot of harbors. Because we have a harbor here. If I look at yields... Well, I'm sure it's good. <laughs> we're building harbor there as well. So we're gonna need some builders once this goes. So we just completed guild, so we can now build kampungs. And I guess we will get... Theology. And we get an envoy. So we get to send an envoy I think sending an envoy does actually... Um, yeah, you head over there. Oh, we've, we got an envoy in Vijaya already. Do I want to boost that up? Or do I want to try and push my religion somewhere else? I could try send it to... There? to try and push my religion on that side. As far as I understand, every envoy counts as religious pressure as well. Hmm. Vijaya is already under our control. If I put more in there, I think I'm gonna try push my religion up this way a bit. We'll get a bit more faith, and that will count as two. So, we had... <laughs> we put a little pressure on there, took a... a bit off. And yeah, it counts as two, okay. Alright, let's try get Prechaburi here. Onto our side. Oh, he's got his own... What are these? Missionaries, okay. Missionary, missionary. So they're coming down this way. We're gonna have to try deal with that. So after this action, the city will have two citizens following Hindu Dharma. So two out of seven are following Hindu Dharma, which is not exactly what we need. And also a lot of missionaries are coming down here, so I'm gonna have to try and do something about that. Uh, from here, I think. Maybe I save up for monks? Because they can spread and they can fight? That's gonna be done in two turns. Yeah, I think... I think I, I wait for monks, right? Then we've gotta send monks up this way. Yeah, they're spreading back this way, hmm. 
Envoys add plus 300 religion to that city-state, which is basically two missionary charges. Mm, very good. Choose production. Grab yourself a temple. Now we can start trading back this way as well. Um, if I could put some pressure on here. Prechaburi, maybe? Where are you? Begin route. Does that help at all? Probably not. <laughs> I might slightly misunderstand how that works, but this is gonna make three citizens following Hindu Dharma. Three out of seven is not the best, but... I guess I should just keep it. <laughs> At least it removes the, the primary. Okay, we're getting monks next turn. They're probably pretty expensive. Base costs 240 production. But I guess as the turns go on, we just build as many monks and gurus as we can. Plus 100% holy site adjacency bonuses. Yes. I probably want more envoys now, right? Yes. Okay. So we just got monks. Now how much are they? 240. Okay. Let's try one out. Let's try one out. Uh, paper making. Plus 25% toward production towards religious units. And unlocks the guru. Let's just grab early empire first. We get to send an another envoy here. Uh, oh, right. Vijaya, that was a trade route quest. That's my misunderstanding. <laughs> I got it, I got it, yes. That was a quest to send a trade route to Vijaya. There's another one to send it to... Uh, over there. I guess I will just reinforce this so I get the next plus two faith in every holy site. Yeah. And that gives us some vision over there. What religion is this right now? Do we get that six faith? Ah, oh, they're, they're pushing it back. They're pushing back. Okay, so you can't just... You can't just free roam into Thailand and convert them. It's not quite that simple. <laughs> uh, we don't want any of this. All right, choose civic. Uh, production towards wonders. Gets an envoy, gets an envoy. Maintain three trade routes. Build three temples. Plus four faith. Awards two randomly chosen free civics when completed. All newly trained missionary monks... That's actually really good. I don't know why I didn't look at that before. Anyway, here's a monk. Promotion is available. Plus ten religious strength in theological combat when in foreign territory. Two times flanking bonus. I think this is just better. Religious spread is triple the strength in cities of other civilizations. Religious spread eliminates 75% of existing pressure from... I prefer this, but I prefer this. Maybe this is okay. I'll go with this first. And we just need to build up our faith production so we can start spamming monks. I'm not sure if in this scenario, if a monk wins combat, do they uh, uh, affect all the neighboring cities? They might. Hopefully they do. Oh, this monk. Okay. Just... Make your way up there, and we'll try and find who's who's spreading religion. Buddhism, Shavaism. Okay, well, let's let's go find their missionaries. Ah, Taoism is coming down this way. All right, all right. So we're gonna unlock this five hundred and forty production. Not uh, not sure where we could build that. Can purchase with faith. How much is it for the monk? 240. Okay, that's fine. You. 
keep on going. Okay, there we go. There's some missionaries. I don't know if we can... Major victory. Okay, we can. And the fact that we can now heal our religious units with gurus is going to be very good. That's one of my problems with religion in the past. You couldn't really heal uh, religious units properly. Alright. We can start fighting here. Adjusted base strength when embarked. What is... Alright, so we've unlocked the Mahabodhi Temple. Okay, let's just choose a civic. I'm gonna maintain three trade routes. We should be... Aren't I producing another trader somewhere? Yeah, when is this gonna be done? Two turns left. And then we'll have three trade routes going, which will boost that. Yes, perfect. Okay, so we can fight here. Plus seven holy ground. Oh, it's because he's on a... Okay. Holy ground is adjacent to... Alright, so we can... We can just punch this guy. Right? Can we not... Can we not fight him on the water? Do we have to... I guess we can't fight on the water. That's fine. That's fine. I guess I'll sail around... This side. Try and catch him. Alright, Envoy. Let's just boost up uh, this one, because that'll just get us more faith. Right? Okay, and it looks like Mahayana Buddhism and Islam are just coming on in this place. Ah, uh, well... Okay, it seems like there's a lot of competition on this map. They ran away! That's not fair. It's totally fair, by the way. It's totally fair. Uh, how do they fight? Debate themselves until one coughs blood? No, no. Religious battles in Civ 6? We've got lightning bolts. Alright, so I'd like to... Try and keep up with them. Now, this place, we just finished the temple. 28 turns for the Maha... Is that worth it? Oh, jeez, my mic just fell over. Sorry about that. Um, hope that everything still sounds okay. I kind of want a builder because I want kampungs, but this temple is very good to have. And that looks like it's designed to house it. What do we do? What do we do? Do I... I mean, in the long run, that's that's good. If I don't get it now, it's probably not going to be worth getting. I mean, it's 28 turns, but... It's really a late game thing. Oh well. We have... I forgot. We do actually have enough to buy another monk. And you... You know what? Get ourselves a builder. Okay. Now, let's see if we can actually try and fight someone here. So a lot of stuff's going on here. Huh. So yeah, we, we can't fight on the water. We have to get on the land. And try and fight them next turn. Meanwhile, you have... Uh, can we promote you? Can we only promote you when you're on the land? No, it's fine. Okay. We'll promote you there. Get another monk going up that side. Let's grab a builder here while we have the chance. And you have to wait right there. Ah, our third trade route, which... Who has the quest here, right? Send a trade route. Let's just do that. Plus six faith a turn is also very good. Begin route. Paper making completed, fantastic. City-state quest completed, civic boost gained. Yes, okay, fantastic. So now we can actually build or train gurus. 
which can use a charge to heal itself and all adjacent friendly religious units may not initiate combat, but can defend. Okay, so they are a support unit. So if we have a bunch of injured monks, we want to bring them back to a guru. Right? Make some builders and make some water improvements. Builders on the way. I want to build some kampungs. Don't worry. We, we want some kampungs coming. Now, let's see. What is this? Plus 25% production towards religious units. That might make training religious units more viable, right? But maybe not yet, because I'm not quite at that point. Choose a civic. Engineering, just grab that. Now you. We get to fight people now, right? Major victory, major victory. Can I just start punching people? Holy ground. Plus six support bonus. Well, let's... Let's... Let's do a bit of a lightning battle here. Okay, so monks are pretty good. Especially when there's just a lot of missionaries, but... So none of these guys can initiate combat. These are all just missionaries. Alright, so now... Is, are we fighting over Vijaya? Who's currently influencing Vijaya? Do I just push up Vijaya, I think? Just try to keep that going. Now this monk is gonna make his way up here. Once we get a few monks up there, I think we're gonna be good. By the way, have these converts in two? Okay, that's good. That converts in nine, okay. So we can't quite hold on to those quite yet. It seems like we may have overextended. Can I click on a religious icon underneath a city? I mean... Yes, you can. <laughs> so there's all the details there, uh, which is very, very good. So you see all of this UI improvement for religion? Very, very good. That's the Eagle 881 in chat, by the way. Plus 15% production towards wonder. That's pretty much what we need right now. Confirm. Yes. And that should boost this up. 22 turns. It's not it's not the best, but okay. What's this next row? Uh Surfdom. Logistics. Plus one movement if starting turn in a friendly territory. Lumber mills. Newly trained builders gain two extra gold. Uncle Wat. Uh, when this wonder is built, receive three envoys, one population in all current cities, plus one housing in all cities. Must be adjacent to an aqueduct. We don't have any aqueducts. Right? That's build two aqueducts. I guess we just go for this for now. We got another one of these. Do I just focus on these two? <laughs> Suzerain you, Suzerain you. I guess I just focus on these two, right? Try and get up to six on one of these. Yeah. I haven't even properly looked at the bonuses, but okay. Let's bring this guy up and you. Can I? I can't. I can't punch him in the water, right? Oh, I can punch him in the water if I'm on land. Okay. Killed him. <laughs> uh, I guess. Uh, I guess that works, right? It doesn't seem to have any effect on convincing the neighbors, though. Um, but there's just so many missionaries here. How do we stop them? I guess we use monks to punch people a lot, and then we just use them to spread. They have three spreads for monks, so that's good. This Shavaism stuff is just... They have so many more missionaries than we do. Should I focus on Peninsula Malaysia first? 
Oh, this one converted. Do we have this one as well? Okay, so we now have all of this under control, which is good. So this shows the exact amount it's being influenced by. So if I have a look at here, there's so many icons. Uh, so that's plus six, plus 20, plus zero, plus nine. So it's saying it will convert to Theravada Buddhism in 800 turns. I see. Okay. So I've got this dude. And I've got this dude. I guess I just get him on land first. We actually can afford another monk. We'll keep them coming. Or should I be spamming missionaries like they do? I'm not sure. If I spam missionaries, they're spamming harder than I am. There's so many different religions here. Jeez. I mean, we're probably not doing good on the score ranking, right? We're, we're sort of middle of the board. Exactly middle of the board, actually. Hmm. Alright, can we punch anyone... They've all left the land. <laughs> I guess I just try keep converting, right? How's this doing? Plus 24, plus 12. This is being influenced by these three here. But still being more influenced by me. So, okay. That's not so bad. How's it show the citizens? Three, two, three. So if I wanted to spread here... What would be the effect? Four citizens following Hindu Dharma. Currently it's what? Three. I guess I'll just reinforce Hindu Dharma and Temasek right now. Right? That makes sense? So many windows. So that's four, one, one. Okay, how about you? Five, four... So this is actually... This is just converted over, I think. Send a trade route to Palembang. Meanwhile, you... Can you actually rest and repair? Because I've tried that in the past, but it doesn't always work. You got the same promotions here. I'll just focus. Alright, so we're gonna try hold on to our religions down here. It doesn't seem like they're sailing over this way. If I could just get up and control this area here, it would actually be very good. Because I have... this city's under my control here. Well, it's Hindu Dharma, I mean. So, we're coming up the Malay Peninsula here. Through the Straits of Malacca. In case you don't know where the Straits of Malacca is, it's right here. Malacca's somewhere around here. So, we've reinforced Tamasic. You, I guess we just... push up. A spread here... would reconvert this to Hindu Dharma. Which is good, because that's now going to help pressure Hindu Dharma in this region. And we're going to bring you further up north as well. So all of these guys have now crossed from the Malay Peninsula into this part of Indonesia. You've got to be careful. So I guess we'll send this guy up through Palembang. Palembang could do with a bit of a reinforcement because it's currently 5-4, which is... So this is radi... What does that actually mean? It's being affected by 8. So this is being affected by 4. Is it 1, 2... No, it's being affected by a lot more than that. Is this the strength of its... Can someone tell me if this is how much forces coming in or going out? Can't quite. Why not just try converting weaker regions to have more power against stronger ones? Yeah, so I'm gonna focus on here because this is almost all mine. Lamuri is a little struggling there. If one of our traders actually comes home, <laughs> we could... I don't suppose we could fit another trader. No, production. No, we've, we've maxed out on traders. Palembang and Lamuri could do with a trade route. 
What was that? Theravada Buddhism finished Uncle What? Did they beeline it? I guess so. Okay. We can buy another monk though. Keep them coming. So I'm gonna pop this guy onto the land. Is it worth reinforcing this? <laughs> Converts in 2,000 turns. It might be worth reinforcing this just for now. Right? Just to make sure that is secure because I don't want one missionary coming on down this way. Do I reinforce here? I guess I try reinforce Kadaram, right? So it's 3-1. That's good. Now this dude, I want to send over to Lamuri. Okay, we're getting 67 faith per turn, which is good. That uh, faith per turn also counts. Oh, would you look at that? We've we've jumped up the scoreboard. We're second place. Followers following religion 53. Foreign cities following religion 140. Faith per turn 67. Vajrayana Buddhism is getting 148 faith per turn. Why is our faith per turn so low? Pretty much everyone is better than us by a lot. Is it a difficulty thing? We've got logistics. We don't really need that. Um, so Angkor Wat has already been built. I guess we look at where we're going after this. Oh, there's government types. Would you look at that? I guess we don't need to do construction then. We go through feudalism into the rest of the tech tree. Okay. Makes sense. Now, here... Oh, we can get another trader. I just finished a builder here. You know what? Grab a trader. And this builder, I want to build a kampung. Yes, right there. That's fine. Build ourselves our first kampung. Plus one food, plus one production. Very good. Oh, look at that. I love the way it looks. It looks really nice. That's going to be done in 18 cents. I don't know if I'm going to get that in time. Choose production. We probably just need some builders everywhere, right? Send an envoy. We could push this up to six. What is our... Your trade routes to any city-state provide plus two faith for every special district. district uh -huh. I guess we just grab that, right? So we've got the six envoy bonus. Now that is reconverting, which is not good. Where is... Where is that missionary? Am I... Seeing something wrong here? Is he there? Oh. Wait, missionary? Priest? Is there a missionary in this city? Well, that priest is quite powerful. Friendly territory. Is he? I guess so. Is Kadaram producing its own... Hmm. What is the ratio here? Okay, so I want to find something out. If I spread all religion... Uh, use all spreads, does the monk disappear? It does. Okay, lesson learned. But that does reinforce Kadaram for a little while. So, important to not overspread. I guess I should just send this guy up that way. And this guy is crossing over to Lamuri, where these Khmer missionaries are. Not the best. You. Uh, embark and then promote. 
Okay. Okay. Ah. Let's see. Make sure I remain suzerain of Pagan? Pagan? How do you pronounce that place? Um... Yes. Am I still suzerain of up there? I am for now. I am for now. I just wanted to grab that Vijaya first. You... Gonna sail on up. You... Are gonna walk on up. You... Are gonna hop on over. So Lamuri was... Yeah, it's... <laughs> uh, what's our current? One out of seven is us. Okay. Is this actually maintaining now? Hmm. Okay. Ah, yes. This builder. I guess I want to send him... down this way? Or should I keep him... Building up the kampungs on the water here. Ah, oh, it looks really... Having a, a, a tile improvement on these coastal tiles? Very nice, by the way. Is the price going up on these? 240. Hmm. Monks seem to be good at scaring off these other missionaries. You see, every time we, we <laughs> send a monk somewhere, the missionaries run away. Alright, so we're just going to try and focus on our region. So this whole Indian region, I'm just going to ignore. These are all send a trade route, right? Yeah, if I ever wanted to send trade routes that way. Okay, you have two spreads. If we spread here, it will help. It's going to need one more spread, but we can't use up all the spreads. So we're going to have to bring this guy up. Bring that guy up. I want to at least control this region. Manakavaram is also... probably should convert that as well, right? Ugh. Four for four. That's not good. Okay. This builder... Maybe I should focus on improving this city, right? Just to help that get along. Adds production to sea tiles, right? This, uh... Oh, I accidentally swapped over. <laughs> uh, you. Um, swap back, please. Okay. I think that's... I think that's fine, right? Okay. Let's keep going. How are we on the scoreboard? We are still second, right? No, we're third. Ah, by one point. It's actually close. It's actually close. Is this Mahayana Buddhism? Who... Is it this one? No. Mahayana Buddhism is coming from... Where is Mahayana Buddhism coming from? Oh, from here. This is... Oh, the guy who starts in the middle of the map is doing the best right now. Hopefully he's weakened. It seems like Taoism's close behind. But it's okay. Hmm, a temple? We could have a temple. We could now also... Uh, what does a temple do? Oh, let me just check. Okay, religious units trained here receive an additional promotion. That means if I buy a monk from here... Does he get an extra promotion? I'm not sure. I might have been doing it wrong this whole time. So, this guy now has one spread left, so we're gonna bring him away. This guy has two spreads, so we're gonna bring him up. This guy has three spreads, we're gonna bring him up. Uh, this builder can now start improving some of these sea tiles. 
All right, and we're on we're halfway through the game here. We're halfway through the game Ah I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay, right? It looks okay. It feels okay. <laughs> I really don't know. I, I, have, I have very little sense. So these trade routes are coming down this way. We've got this. Newly trained builders gain two extra build. I think I focus on the wonder, right? It's another 14 turns. Printing. So we're now in the next part of the tech tree into the Renaissance era. So which one do we want? Civil service or printing? Plus one spread? Printing looks good. We'll go for printing. Now let's reinforce our presence here. Oh, we've got two, fantastic. We'll just go all the way up to... Do they give something similar? Your trade routes to any city state provide plus two faith. Uh, yes. Okay. Confirm placement. Two... Uh, oh, that's not bad. How about Vijaya? It's not the best. Oh, you can actually scroll here. <laughs> it's being influenced by a lot. Okay. So, Lamuri should almost... No, Lamuri is not almost under our control. Okay. We have you, which I'm going to push up. Actually, can we spread from the water? We can. Okay. So we can push you up. That should help get Hindu Dharma... To be the major religion there, yes, yes, no, does it not count yet? Three out of s oh, no, we need one more. Three out of seven is not half. <laughs> you, what is this? Well, we can just fight from there. Okay, fantastic. So to fight, to have a religious battle, one per one unit has to be on land, I think. Try to scare that priest away. Okay. This builder. Go build a kampung right there. It's starting to look a little bit better now. You. Do we get two promotions? Let's send you down this way first. Promote. So if I were to do that. Have I been training my monks in the wrong city this whole time? I think I have. Sorry about that. Uh, the temple does make a difference. <laughs> Who's fighting? Who's fighting who? Oh, these guys are fighting each other. That Chola priest versus this Khmer missionary. Which allows me to kill this priest. Right? Because... Oh, he just... Oh... He just ascends to heaven. Oh, and killing the priest helps out a lot. I see. We want to kill priests. Okay. Thank you, Khmer missionary, um, for helping out. And that actually converts this to five. Oh, okay. So we've reinforced this whole region with our religion. That's going to help a lot. Thank you very much. This now has uh, one spread, so we can't use that. This guy has two spreads. So now I guess we start looking at this city, which we have a presence, but not a strong one. Are these priests? Decisive victory. Why, why is this? But we can't fight from here, right? Okay. We need to keep an eye on those guys though. So here's another monk who does in fact have another promotion. It's much better, it's much better. JS5563 quoting me, Gamerzak, we want to kill priests. Well, I did say it, I did say it. 
Um, I don't know if we want to improve any tiles here. Are, are all the tiles here... Oh, we could totally, we could totally improve some of these tiles. In Majapahit. Probably should be building up more kampungs here, right? So those guys went off somewhere. I'm not sure if I want to... bother converting that. Priest... there's a priest right there. Let's start bringing these guys up. This guy has two spreads, so we're gonna get you onto the land. And if we could kill that guy first, that would actually be huge. If I look at my score now... How did we drop so low? How did Taoism just jump to the top of the scoreboard? What did Taoism do? Taoism was so far down. It's hard to keep track of... Well, there's like a bunch of monks coming out of... Taoist China. Would you look at that? Huh. Well, all right. Um... You know what? Get another builder. You're just gonna keep on sailing this way. Oh, right. We can only improve tiles next to resources. So let's do that. Okay. Let's see if we could kill that guy. Please, yes! Do we win? I hope we win this one. Why is it so close? They were at half health. Is he dead? Yes! He's dead. That's what I'm talking about. That helps convert another person here to our religion thank you very much some fights going on over there between khmer missionaries pala monks and these taoist geez uh these taoist monks are just fighting all over the place okay okay so religious battles all over the, this region it's 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 hotting up it's hotting up only 20 more turns yeah i i don't know if we're gonna win we're just gonna try our best okay we're gonna try our best at the very least, if we look at the religious lens here, this region is all very much me. Up through the Malay Peninsula, except for this city here. But if I could get this one, this one's worth 10, that's worth 4. This is worth much more. Uh, decisive victory with another priest. Yeah, sure. Can we kill this guy? Just, just took that last lightning bolt there to finish him off. Fantastic. Now you can come on here. You can start making your way up a little bit here. These guys only have one spread, so we shouldn't use them. How is the religion looking in the city now? Did we take... Oh, we're up to four. All right, we've almost got this city under our religious control. This monk can't move anyway. Skip turn. This guy's gonna make his way up the Straits of Malacca. And we can actually afford another monk. I think there isn't much time to, to use up gurus in this one. Like, maybe we could, but... Uh, maybe I'll get one guru. I'm not too sure. Is it worth healing these monks? I like the monk unit, though. It, it, it really brings... Uh, um, more concrete sense of combat to to the religious aspect of Civ 6. They just... I don't think I could maintain control of that. There's way too much going on over there. Am I still suzerain? I am still suzerain, so I get to see everything that's going on, but... Okay. Now. Stalemate. Major victory. I think I just spread first, right? 
get it under my control. So that's a pretty large city. That's a size 10 city. Palembang is also... Okay. Where are my traders? Have my traders come back at all? Not sure. So you gotta move up and... Religious spread eliminates 75% of existing pressure from other religions in target city. I think I have to go that way for Angkor Tom. Right, because there's just... Actually, we've almost got Angkor Tom. Five? Really? Five out of 14? That's pretty good. Ah, we actually have... Another builder for some kampongs. Now you can build yourself... Oh, we actually have room for one more trade route. Are we currently building a trader somewhere? Oh, we are. Over there. Okay. Um... <laughs> There's 20 turns left, so I don't really know what we should... Maybe if I build a granary to grow our own cities, those count as... Those count as religious things, right? We can't move anywhere, though. Uh, okay, you just wait right there. You can creep on up a bit. You're gonna sail on up this way a bit. Is this city ever gonna convert to mine? It is slowly converting. It's not telling me... Actually, it did convert. Oh, this is now Hindu Dharma. Fantastic. How are we doing on the scoreboard? Not good. Uh, again, middle of the road. Middle of the road. But we'll, we'll just see. Uh, what bitrate am I streaming at? The Twitch video stat things shows 7,500 kilobits. I'm same, 6,000. I mean, it floats above 6,000. I don't know what's going on here. Are we gonna die? Are we gonna lose a monk? Okay, no one, no one died. So as the monk is almost dead, what I want to do is I want to spread religion to kill myself rather than lose the monk, right? Ah, oh, Shavaism's coming on down. We're in the Renaissance era, fantastic. We've got this. Each city receives plus one faith for each specialty district it constructs. Plus one faith from each of your envoys. That is definitely better. Which one's better? Faith for each specialty district or 100% holy site adjacency bonuses? I think this is still better. I'm not too sure. I'm gonna leave it as is for now. Now you are about to die. So if I send you into any sort of fight, you're gonna die. So I'm just gonna spread religion here. Meanwhile, you, that's a missionary. Killing missionaries is not that worth it. I'm gonna just move you up. Move you up. Now, we have this guy. Three spreads. Move you up. And we also have uh, you. So this is the, the guy I'm sending proselytize. I'm gonna send him towards Angkor Tom there. If I could convert Angkor Tom, that would be good. Uh, promotion proselytizer. Religious conversion. Convert Vijaya. Okay. Religious conversion. Okay. That's fine. Choose civic. Okay. Where are we going next? So what are these governments? Legacy bonus discount on faith purchases, influence gain 5 influence points at a turn.
all of these give envoys, so... Is astronomy worth it? Plus one wildcard policy slot? No, I'm not gonna get that anytime soon. All religious units plus five religious strength doubles your faith yield from holy site buildings. Plus we faith from all trade routes. I think we go towards a theocracy, right? All right, you. Um, wait there. I'm not too worried about one. This guy can't reach anyone, right? Movement is so... Can I fight this guy? I don't think we can kill him quite yet. Why do we only have one, one dude here? Because this unit was fine. Yeah. Oh, did we kill him? Oh, we killed him! Oh, yes, yes! Fantastic! Mm. Uh, so we boosted... Divine Right? What was the boost for that? Um, have 15 cities following your religion. How interesting. Which religion did we convert? Oh, we converted Angkor Tom? We did... Proselytizer's not even down here yet. How about you? How, how are you feeling? 7 out of 11? Ah, oh, 7 11. Um, you guys? 5 out of 5? Fantastic. Uh, how are you guys doing? 2? 2? Okay, okay. Winning these fights is the key to victory, I think. Okay. You. Build a campo. Okay. I don't think we're ever gonna get this. Someone else must be building it, right? Minus Terra. Shavaism's coming on down here. Killing people. Okay, okay. We just have to be very strategic with how we use... Shavaisms. That's an injured monk, though. Okay. So we could kill this priest. Very nice. And that's a stalemate, but I think he will die. Right? So let's kill this guy first. Watch a bit of the lightning battles. I specifically did not turn off quick combat so that we could watch these lightning battles. Look at this, this lone monk. He's supposed to have two guys with him? No, he's one guy as strong as three guys. And he just goes around lightning bolting people. Ah, uh, you can use the Zack God's emote in chat if you like. The lovely lightning bolt. Now let's... How is that guy wounded from that? Oh well. He's gonna die too. Why do our monks all have just one dude on them? Oh well. <laughs> Shavaism down, Hindu Dharma up. Yes, yes. So now what are we looking at? 9 out of 11, fantastic. Uh, how are we... Almost converting Lampoon. How about Pegu? All right, that's bringing us very close to converting some of these cities. Uncle Tom, 9 out of 14 is ours now. Vijaya, how are we so bad on Vijaya? We're suzerain of that city-state and yet... Maybe I should send my proselytizer to Vijaya. Is this mine? Now there's some missionaries coming down this way, which is not nice. We can't fight in the water. Where do I send this guy? What's the plan? This guy has three spreads. Do I send this guy back to try and stop these... Shaivism... Missionaries? These guys all still have full spreads. It's probably not worth fighting over that, right? I'd probably rather send this guy up. Try and... Focus on this region where there's just a larger population. Oh, so I keep forgetting to buy more monks. You are going to head up towards Vijaya so we can start proselytizing that. 
you are gonna build a kampung right there. Okay, okay. Builders and religious units, basically any unit with charges, have the number of charges represented on the unit model as well. Oh, you listen. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't remember. Was that added in somewhere? Was that how it was at the start? Because I can't remember. Missionary, trader, trader, missionary, missionary. Do I just finish off these missionaries? There's a monk there. Hmm. I want to be careful about losing monks. I think we're pretty much taking out... Oh, that's converted to us. Theravada Buddhism. How are we doing on the scoreboard, actually? We're back up to second place, which is good. I kind of just want to... I don't see any priests we could fight. I don't really want to mess with that monk with my weakened monks. I guess I just... Clear off these missionaries so they stop messing with things. Right, you go deal with that. And this dude... Do we fight here? Oh, killing missionaries do does work. I thought when we killed missionaries before it didn't actually affect things. But that's actually amazingly good. What just happened? 4-4, four, four, okay. 4-3, four, okay, okay, that's pretty good. Um... Apparently killing missionaries does help out quite a bit, so fantastic. Now, do I want to punch this guy in the face? Probably not, right? I'll just keep sending this guy up. Okay. I thought killing missionaries didn't have an effect on the surrounding regions, because I remember killing a missionary down here and it didn't change anything? Maybe I was mistaken. Anyway, uh, Bogor. What have you just gotten? You just built a temple, right? Which means we can now buy a monk here. Fantastic. Thirty-four to fifty. Build yourself a lighthouse, I guess. We don't have a harbor here. Have a gran oh, granary. Let's just try grow our own population a little bit. We'll move you up and we will get another practitioner. You're gonna... Oh, trade route. Yes. I wanted to maybe push Lamuri a little bit. Religious conversion. Is there anything up here? Religious conversion. Dali. Send the trade route. But I can't, don't think we can reach there. Maybe I'll just reinforce Lamuri. Yeah? Where's Lamuri? There. Just reinforce that a bit. You are gonna build another kampung right there. Did you not? There we go. Ah, love the way they look. Look at them, look at them. Lovely. Okay, so I think we're doing pretty good. I'm still not convinced we're gonna win quite yet, but we're... We're getting there, we're getting there. Hmm. A little bit of a fight here. A monk, huh? A priest there. Okay. You are gonna... I think that promotion is just generally better, right? Now, how are we gonna manage this? There's a bunch of dudes who just showed up. If I fight there, you will die. If I fight here, you might not die. Which might allow me to kill this dude. So if I fight here... Oh, we can't reach. 
This guy has three spreads, though, which I don't want to waste. Uh, this guy is almost certainly going to die, so I think I will just spread religion here before he dies or something. This guy... I'm gonna bring back this way to try and support this dude. You're out of movements, right? Yeah. And this dude... I guess I'll punch this guy in the face? Yeah. Uncle Tom is still not under my control. Okay. We've got this dude coming up. This is our proselytizer, right? Yes. So you're coming up that way. Okay. These guys are fighting... Those are... Oh! They're fighting each other, which is good. As long as they're not fighting me. That guy... Ah, Taoist Monk! Which is almost dead. Fantastic. Thank you for coming down this way. You're gonna fight that way, and you die! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Now, we could kill... Ooh, government unlock theocracy. Fantastic. I'm just gonna assume that is better. Uh, yes. Uh, ooh, yes. Look at that. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, faith from domestic players or religion is uh, plus strength. Yes, we do that a lot. Doubles faith yield. Each city receives plus one faith, plus one movement, plus one faith from international trade routes. Doubles the faith yield from that. That's probably going to be very good. And we also have a wild card policy slot. Just boost up faith as much as possible, because each faith per turn is going to be... Uh... Yeah. Each faith button, that's... Oh, that's so much better. Each faith button counts as one point. Now, let's see what we're dealing with here. So this guy's almost dead. But we could just kill... We would probably lose a monk. But... We could kill two monks and then lose one, I think. Because this guy, I think, will be safe enough to survive for me to... Okay. I'm gonna kill that guy. We're gonna lose three, three charges on this dude because he just fought so much. But I think he made up for it. And this guy... Just gonna... Yeah, I think we're efficiently doing this. There we go. Yes, yes. And that is helping out quite a lot. Very nicely, very nicely, yes. 10 out of 11, yes. 5 out of 9. How about Lingapura? 6? Have we converted here? 5. This should be converting, right? It did, it did convert. Okay, Angkor Tom. They must have pushed back a bit there. You are going to head up to Vijaya. We'll try Convert Vijaya, which is a quest, Religious Conversion. I don't know what happened to those... I think the monks turned back around, right? Choose a civic, okay. I guess we just push for envoys? Do we have envoys sitting around? We have two envoys sitting around. Lamuri, we got one there. Plus two faith in every holy site district. I guess we just push that up, right? How many do we have? Jeez, when did we get all of these? Do I just do that? Get another... I think I just do that. Get even more faith per turn. Fantastic. Okay, okay. Now, can we afford another... Monk 200? Okay, fantastic. Let's check here. Uh, build a lighthouse. I don't care. Now, you guys. Still got another promotion. Let's grab Translator. You are gonna move up here. Oh, you're already promoted, so just keep on coming up. So we've got a few more monks on the way. 
Theravada Buddhism is trying to push back, but I don't think Theravada Buddhism is doing too well, right? <laughs> Bottom of the scoreboard. Taoism, come on, 500? Taoism. Why not send some gurus along to heal your monks? I probably should, right? I probably should. Right, that just makes more sense. We didn't lose this dude though, which is good. Uh, so I guess I will use this guy. This guy didn't die either. What are the odds I could pull back in time? Did they reconvert this? Jeez. Let me, let me look at this guy first. Vijaya. Okay, Vijaya. Everything is sort of 1, 1, 1, 1 with 3 on Mahayana Buddhism. So if I do this, you'll have 3 citizens. And it weakens all the others. Okay, so we're now the majority religion there, but we don't quite have enough. Right? It would actually be handy to have a guru right about now. <laughs> Perhaps I should have, yeah? You listen. Perhaps I should have. Maybe if I just try retreat a little bit. I mean, that's probably not a good idea to try and retreat, right? Shrine. We're gonna push these guys up. Get ourselves a kampung. Okay, very nice. Okay, I think we can come in a solid second, yeah? Check Tandusia's comments. Check your notifications, something happened. I missed the notification. Tandusia, what happened? Uh... Purchase. Monk. Unit available for promotion. Move up. Grab that. Do we just spread again here, I think? Religious conversion of Vijaya. Ah, oh, that's our trader. You guys are gonna move up this way towards Angkor Tom. Uh, fighting this guy. We do get a major victory, but I think we might die if we try that. Right? It might be worth it. Well, it'll, it'll just trade even, right? I think maybe we just try run away from them. Try and get our guru up there. Right? What are his promotions? Plus one movement to religious units at the start of turn within two tiles. Unit operates as a medic, providing extra healing to units within one tile. I did not realize he had those kinds of... Ah, oh, damn it, I should have moved him first. <laughs> I did not realize he had that kind of bonuses. That's actually really good. You. Build a campo. Okay. Ah, you gonna kill me? Not all is lost. Eight hand mirror, a relic, fantastic. And now I think, geez, this guy, how, how is this guy so low on health? Did someone punch him as well? Don't need any of that, that's fine. So this guy's not getting out of here. I think his best bet is to fight here. Is there a stalemate and who wins? <laughs> uh, let's find out. Who wins? We're both equally almost dead. Battle of the Ages. Come on! Yes! We won! <laughs> I can't believe he won! 
Ah, uh, well, um, that's something. Uh, this proselytizer, uh, we probably need to use him up on Angkor Tom. Let's bring these guys on... I just want them on the land first, okay. There's three monks coming on from the southeast, fantastic. Uh, you are gonna just keep making your way up. Uh, we've got this dude who's gonna keep on making his way up here, get that bonus. You are gonna make your way up there. We'll get a promotion next time. Choose a civic. I don't know what we're going for, but I guess we might just... Does it lead to anything? No, I just, I just want the envoys. Okay, unit needs orders. You are gonna just keep building kampungs. Thank you very much. Next turn, relic created, which is good. Unit killed. Purchase with faith. Okay, okay. Ah. Lost a route or a city? Did I lose a trade route? I didn't lose a trade route. I didn't lose a city. The initiator usually wins if both units were to die, unless the defender does way more damage. You listen, thank you for that. Mahabodhi is two turns, one turn away. Look at that, we've... <laughs> I don't know if it was worth it. We just threw our entire capital. In the bustling corner of the Indian state of Bihar, there is a magical place that one might think of as the hub of Buddhism. Looks good. We threw our capital, the whole game, into this thing. Uh, is it worth it? Who knows? Well, we got a couple free civics. Okay, thank you for that. Well, that's done. Looks nice with the kampungs and everything. Very, very cool. Um, what does this do again? I forget. I, I forgot why we were building that in the first place. I, I remember it being very good, but... Well, we're not getting that in time. Uh... A granary? Uh, it looks amazing though. Yes, yes, Tandos here. It looks amazing. Fantastic. Mm, very nice. Uh, let's... <laughs> I can't remember why we wanted it. Um, I could check the Civilopedia. Plus 10 religious strength to theological... Gurus are way better than I thought they were. Gurus are definitely worth it. Now, um, we've got some priests here, which uh, I don't like the look of, so... What is this? Is this Uncle What? Oh. I see. Let's just try our best. Let's just try our best. Is this our proselytizer? This is our proselytizer. Okay, so I want to try and clear... 10. Five. Okay, I, I want to try clear that off. That would be good. Uh, oh, you can spread. After this action, the city will have 11 citizens. From 5 to 11? Fantastic. Just do it. Yes. The city is mine. That guy's still alive? Run away. I can't believe that guy's still alive. <laughs> Uh, monk, yes. Uh, make your way up there. Promote yourself to translator. Next turn. Okay. Where are we right now? Second place. Solid second place, I think. I know Shava Shaivism is close. Close third. This Taoism. Taoism's so strong. How did China get so strong with Taoism? Can we just kill you guys? That would be nice. Thank you for losing to me. Taoism's scary. 
See, there's, there's no point in me fighting these Taoist guys because none of these cities are really Taoist. They just have... I mean, it's just all these cities just are theirs. I mean, you can't get to them. I mean, if I take Taoism down a notch, it might help me. I guess we just punch the Taoists a bit. Can we even make it up there? I don't know, we'll just start walking on up, I guess. You wait right there. Uh, this guy, what is this guy? Practitioner translator, yeah. You're just coming on up too. You are running away down there. We have this guru dude who's gonna be here. And this monk's gonna come up here. I think our only course of action over the next nine turns is to try and fight the Taoists, yeah? Get a guru. Get a monk. Also, remind me on the last turn to change all of my cities to producing uh, faith. Because that's the, the best bet we've got. Okay, what just gives me the most faith? Six... Six de la Muri? I guess that's... Malabang. Where is Malabang? Oh, I guess that's fine, right? Helps a bit, I guess. All right, let's just, ah. Uh, these Buddhists are fighting me, not good. You guys really should fight these guys. They're, they're kind of the threat here. Are they all just weakening each other? Because that would be good. That's great, fantastic. Okay, now. Oh, he's... wait. Did I command that? Th there was a bit of lag there. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I guess we're fighting, right? No, no, while defending. Okay. It was just a bit of lag as China started doing their turns. Okay. There's so many units moving around right now. Ah! China too big. Please nerf. It is, uh, it is a bit difficult. It seems they're a little powerful, right? Let's just kill that guy. Thank you. Kill him. Major defeat. Why are they so powerful? gonna move you up. I'm gonna move you along with heal religious units. So he heals adjacent units, right? And how strong is the guru? 90 religious strength. So I want to bring up and also he's got plus movement and plus 10 religious strength. Can these guys stack? No, they cannot stack. The heal, is it two turns? Uh, two tiles? Um, all adjacent. Okay, so it should be within one tile. Okay. Now you, I guess... Do we get to punch him? No. Do we get to punch him? Alright, let, let's punch the Taoist monks. Ah, uh, this this scenario seems really tough to win, actually.
All right, so we've got that's pretty much our last army here. Yeah? Well, maybe with this guy. Just get out there first. So we're not going to be getting any new units up there anytime soon. Are you dead? Thank you for that. The Taoists and the Buddhists are fighting each other. Okay, that's good, that's good. They're fighting us now? You're gonna lose. Because we get plus, plus two strength. Does it apply to here? Wait, he's here. One, two. Compass done, thank you. Plus three faith, government unlocked. That's fine. Okay, wait. So he gives plus 10 religious strength to all units within two tiles. So does it apply here? If I move this guy up. Guru's unit sage promotion. Okay. Can I tell this guy to move there? This guy to move here. This guy will pull back one. And if I now heal religious units. It's good. Um, die. Gurus are way more powerful than, than they first appear. Way more powerful than they first appear. That, that's actually very scary. Can you? No? It's fine. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> we've got a few turns left. Um, go there. Thank you. Um, doesn't matter too much. Send the envoy. Uh, Malabang. Just try and boost up how much faith per turn we're getting. Should I do that? Or should I go to three for there? And then like one there, one there, just to... Get a bit of extra faith in firm placement, yeah. I mean, there's there's not... I mean, we could keep buying units, but I think they won't really reach in time, right? In the next seven turns. I think this is the army we're going to have to work with, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to buy units just to waste more time. New government, I don't think we need that. Unit needs orders. Ah, uh, this dude, yes. Move up to there, get yourself a promotion. Move yourself up there, get yourself a promotion. Uh, this monk just... Stick yourself up there. Oh, look at this bonus movement speed. That's actually really good. Can I just... Move him up as well? Try invade China a little bit. We're in a solid second place. You got spreads. How is... There's no point spreading. Okay. Alright, I think we've actually wiped out this religion, right? Theravada Buddhism? I mean, there's, there's a few... I don't see any more priests or monks, really, around here. And all these, we actually took over this area in terms of religion. That's that's pretty good. Um, uh, Lampun. All right, so up here is where Taoism is powerful. So if we could, if we could, hmm, take Taoism down a notch, like by converting Tang Long, which is being influenced by all of this. Um, but that might be good. Where's our proselytizer? 
Practitioner, translator, not that dude. He's got one more charge on him, right? This guy. So it might be worth it to just use him up to try and proselytize Tang Long. Right? It's our best bet. That's pretty good. You guys have some charges as well. Let's just try and take this down a notch. I don't see any more priests down here, so let's just bring everyone up. Guru, make your way over there. Okay, okay, that's, that's good, right? We're now going into China. If we could take, like, instead of us boosting our points, we take Taoism down, we might actually be able to win. It might actually work, you know? Who knows? Moshe. Yep. This guru is just trying to bring one dude over. That's fine. There's nothing else we can buy with faith, right? While we're here. No. Buying more units won't get there in time. Okay. Okay. I think... I think... It's good. Convert Dali. Yeah, seven Taoism there. Dali is pretty much the... Yeah, Panyu is the largest city, but Dali has more... Well, it's just one less, and it's closer. So if we convert Dali, that might work. We don't have another proselytizer, but we have a lot of monks with a lot of charges. How's Lampun, actually? 5-5? Five, five. If we use up one charge here, just to convert Lampun to our side. We have four spreads on this guy. Yeah. We'll just get Lampun on our side, bring this dude up. Bring this dude up. Uh, I don't want him going to the side too much, so you're gonna wait right there. Okay. So that's pretty good. Uh, we're now on turn 45, almost to the end here. There's really nothing else we should build. Builder. Uh, builder. Do you want to spread again here? Just to... You know what? Why not? That's... We do get points for each person following our religion, right? One point for every follow of the religion. Well, that's one point. Well, it's one point for me, one less point for Taoism. Okay, so if we could convert Dali, I think we have a good chance of winning, right? Ah, oh, they're back up to 600 something. Come on! Build yourselves kampongs, come on. Ah. Oh. China just has such a good spot because they start with, what, these are all their cities, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They start with seven cities. Whereas we've got one, two, three, four, five cities. They start with two extra cities compared to us. Four turns remaining, okay. Dali, here we come. Oh, movement slowed down as we enter this territory. Is that China Monk? Maybe we should fight him. They're sending some monks down. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna bring this dude up. We're gonna bring this dude up. So a little bit of reinforcement here. We've got another monk. We've got this dude here. Just bring up here. Is it worth spreading anything here? It is worth it, actually. It's pretty good. Uh, you're just gonna step there. You're just gonna step there. You're just gonna step... Do we want to heal this guy? Maybe not quite yet? I'm gonna hold him back first. But we will move him up that way. Okay. Who? Oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> it's so close. It's actually close. 
Ah, uh, try the Khmer, they only have three cities. Khmer start with three cities, is it? Yeah, how, how is this fair? I don't know. Did we win? Okay, we won that fight. They're now fighting us again here. Hopefully our gurus are actually holding on up here. More... Oh look, they're, they're pulling back all of their Taoist monks. Would you look at that? Three turns remaining. It's actually a close fight. It's actually very close. We could totally finish this dude off. We could fight this dude. Can we not fight from there? I'm gonna bring these guys up this way. This guy's got three spreads, so just start spreading. This guy... We need a heal here, right? Actually, I have this guru down here. We can bring him up. Ah, not enough movements. Okay, that's fine. You... I'm gonna come around that side. That should protect that guy from that angle, and this guy can come up this way. And also, is it still worth spreading here? It is still worth spreading. You've got four spreads. Spread him up! Come on. And you... Just pull... We've got one Guru there, which is in range there, so we're gonna put the second Guru here to get in range of that guy. No, you can't move. Okay, that's fine. Also, I just noticed... Looks nice! <laughs> uh, unit needs orders. You can't do anything, so wait right there. This dude, um, okay. All right, we're fighting the Chinese Taoists. We'll see if we can win this. He's gonna hit us right here. Anyone else? I should have gotten gurus earlier. That, that actually would have uh, helped a lot. Start the holy side projects. Yeah, I'm gonna start it. Should I start it this turn? I should probably start it this turn, just to be safe. Okay, all cities change. So we're currently plus 211, right? If I change all of these to holy side prayers. 211. <laughs> we don't have a holy site there, that's fine. Okay, now let me just look at what we're dealing with here. So... We have some fights on our hand here. Decisive victory. We can fight him first. Okay. That should kill him. Then we can move the Guru up to here and heal. Oh, I love that effect. That effect's good. This dude, um, let's, let's look to the left first. We can decisive victory that dude. So this should be affecting all these surrounding cities as well, which is good. We can major victory on that dude. And we can bring this guy up and just spread religion. We can leave... Uh, we'll notch this guy down one, in case he needs to move over to the left. This guy has three spreads. Um, I think this was a good turn, right? I think this was a good turn. Do I start fighting? I think I start fighting. And this guy, we bring him over to the right side as well. Okay. Last couple turns here. Last. This is gonna be turn 49. How is Taoism 700? How is that possible? Jeez, where, where are they getting all that from? Did we lose a monk? I'm not sure. Oh, he's not dead yet. 
Did we win that one? That's good. That's good. They're spreading Taoism back? Okay, okay. What's the best one turn remaining? Future Civic. Okay, we actually managed it. Um, yeah. New government? That's fine. Ah, oh, you just can't catch up to them. So I'm gonna fight here. I'm gonna bring the guru over here. Actually, no, he should be there, damn. Should be here, so we can heal up and then fight this dude. Okay, this left side is having a bit of problem. Uh, we have a guru here. I move this guy here and then punch him so that I can move this guy here. We crossed the river, did he? And I'm gonna move this guy here. Can I hit this guy? Okay, okay. We're gonna just just try our best here. <laughs> it's so it's so hard. I hope I don't lose that guy. That might have been a slight tactical error. It's okay. And this dude, I guess we should... Keep pushing these guys this way, right? Maybe that. Ah, oh, and the final turn. How much is it from... What is it from? Faith per turn, 439. I actually beat them or tie with them on everything except for Faith per turn. 439? Are you serious? How? Heal up there. We can kill you. And we'll just use this guy to spread because this is the last turn last turn here that's the best way we actually converted Panyu can you believe that and we can just heal you up because why not that's actually used up the guru right? that was a mistake it's fine this is the last turn uh Putala Palace that's crazy jeez China's start on this map Spread. We converted Dali. And that's it. That's the end. Oh, did they take my cities to the east? Oh. Oh. JS. JS. Five, five, six, three. I did not even realize that. Nice catch. I didn't realize they, they actually... Oh! I lost these two cities.
Let's watch the defeat screen, I guess. From the dust to which our civilization first rose, so too shall we return. As the light of our people fades to nothingness, we wonder if one will rise to rekindle our flame. Well, at least it was a solid second place, yeah? How... Is there a way to actually see how he ranked? No, it's just China won. China won. Huh, well, that is... Uh... I guess we'll go back to the main menu. Lesson learned, keep an eye on your cities as you're forcing your way forward. Keep your eye on your back. Uh, <laughs> but I think that's a good look at roughly what Indonesia is. And uh, yeah, the new scenario and everything. It, I think uh, it's nice to have Southeast Asia in that. Me being from Malaysia and Southeast Asia myself, it's good. It's good. China needs to lose one of those cities. Clearly it's broken. Uh, yeah, they have, they have two more cities than I do. And they start with, I mean, I start with two more cities than the Khmer. The Khmer have three cities. I... Uh, then again, the Khmer cities start bigger. But... Yeah, just China was... China took over the lead, and it was impossible to kick them out. I mean, maybe it was possible. Maybe if I sent gurus earlier, maybe if I kept an eye on my eastern flank, it would have been better, but... It was tough. It was tough. China, China seemed... It felt like China had the advantage, but it could be my inexperience, right? It might be. It might be. But anyway, uh, religion, better. Whether it's good enough remains to be seen. I think we need to test and play a bit more, but I think it's generally, it generally has improved. Anyway, that's gonna be it for now. Thank you all so much for joining. Zwilessner, Sajuk, Tandusia, Ulyssen, Hyperpay, JS5563, CMDRS, Quick, Raki, Sriracha, Wings, China also has no penalty in losing religious combat, which makes them resilient? Really? Clerken. Uh, Clerken also, thank you so much for joining. That's gonna be it for now. I like Indonesia. I'm gonna have to check out Khmer. But Indonesia, I like them as a sieve. I, and Khmer has those ballista elephants. Also good. Also good. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow. Same time, place. same place. Thank you all so much for joining. And that's gonna be it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!